Hello Capricorn, thank you very much for tuning into your March reading with me Lorian. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you this reading and we'll just be taking a little look and seeing what kind of energies Pisces is going to come and through with for you. If you just heard a big kerfuffle, that was my cat. She's decided that now is the best possible time to do play. So if you hear a lot of noises, that will be little Belle Belle. All right, so let's have a look and see. 2018 is a very light year. It's what I've been saying on all my readings. And it's quite a strong transmutational year, I think. But let's see what Capricorn has in this Pisces month of March. This is just going to be a general reading for Cancer. Cancer? Capricorn. Sorry, Capricorn. General reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon and Rising sign. If you want a private reading with me, you just have to click on the link below. And all the ways of getting in touch with me are in the description box. Alright, let's see. Alright, that sounds enough for me. Whoa. Ooh, Three of Pentacles. Nice. The Ace of Swords. Let me just turn this slightly around so I've got my line a little bit better. There we go. And we have the Knight of Cups. Oops. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. That's a really nice lineup, actually. Let's have a look and see what else is coming through. All right. Lots and lots of emotion. That's the main thing that they seem to be looking at me with at the moment is a lot of emotion. There's a lot of people um, that are going to be showing how much they appreciate you. But I also feel there's a sense of isolation as well. I think you kind of, the song that's coming through to my head is, here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. You know, that kind of thing. It's like, um, I don't mean to do like a dram dramatization of the lyrics, um, but that is kind of what it is. And I just looked at the camera and it was 222. So this is something that, yeah, here you go again on your own. Going down the only road you've ever known. Just that phrase keeps coming through. So this is definitely like you're striking out again. I think this is because of the Ace of Swords here. This is a victory. This is a powerful card. And I also think it's, something is going to hit you with deep clarity this month. I think it's going to just be like, boom, you know what you want to do. And you know exactly the direction you need to go in, basically. Um, a lot of the times this is a separational card as well. Um... So I feel like this could be you deciding to change course or leave a situation behind. Leave a person, leave a house, leave a job, um, leave a, a, even a state of being. You could leave some views that you used to have. So for instance, if you were a meat eater, you might decide to try vegetarian. Um, in the very, That's a very, very basic example. But it could be that you're just kind of separating from an old way. I do think, though, that you're definitely having some very um, strong connectivity with the universe in general. This is kind of like a lightning bolt of inspiration and clarity. And, oh, problem solved. I need to do it this way. Doesn't mean you're not going to have to work to get the problem solved. Um, but you definitely get the idea or the solution coming through to you from your divine guidance. That's what I seem to see most of all here. And then you have this wonderful card of teamwork and collaboration. You could be showing people how it's done. You know, you could be teaching people a lot as to how to, you know, manifest things. But I think you're learning all the time. I think you're, maybe you're a little bit bored with the repetitive nature of some kind of things. But I honestly feel that this is going very well for you. This is almost like a duality thing that's coming in here. And I do feel very strongly that you are going to be having a connection which really enriches your life. This is going to see you through a lot of the months ahead, I think, as well. But it could be that you're teaching people. It could be that you're learning through other people as well. I just feel like there's a lot of intensity that gives you a, a better education, basically. I mean, it could be that your previous year of 2017, the energy of that, it's coming back this month. The energy of that is coming to affect the current month. So I feel like 
you know, your purpose for this month may be just to figure out what you want to do creative wise or, I don't know, work as a team. I do feel like there's a collaboration coming through here, but it definitely demands communication. It could be that you're haggling, actually. For some of you, this is about haggling and you're trying to show somebody what you mean and they're not getting it. It could be that you're trying to say, look, I want to do business with you, but I'm not going to do it in this way. I want to do it in this way. Or it could be that you're trying to get a good price for a studio area or something like that. It could be very, very, very simple, but I think it has a lot to do with the various things, the various nature of what it is you want to do in total. But I do feel with this one in particular, you know, the Knight of Cups is a very strong card for um, motion and yeah it does give a little bit of romance and charming and you know you may be feeling like you're swept off your feet with the energies that are coming through so it could be that you just feel absolutely fulfilled and you feel completely wonderful with it and you feel very charmed and all that kind of stuff but there's still this little thing here this little danger underneath that you may still worry that you're going to go full flat on your face and you know it's not been kind of confirmed 15 times for you to feel secure enough to make this leap to make this motion but I do feel that you should take a risk I honestly do you will not get anywhere you will not feel as um fulfilled if you don't take at least a little bit of a risk this month I think that's the main theme that's coming through actually and then the six of pentacles you know for me this is very much about charity and giving of time it's not just of money you can give people food, you could give people shelter, clothes, um, getting rid of some stuff in your house, it's a perfect time for a spring clean, you know, it could be that you're wanting to completely become this different person, you know, maybe you want to be backlit all the time, you know, it's just, it's just one of those little things where you could want to have this opinion of, you know, people's op opinion change for you, so I think that's going to come through anyway, but you also have the two of wands now the two of wands is about um progress and discovery and having this feeling of um all right so i've had the idea here i've had the clarity of vision how do i put this into practice but because it's here i think that you are going to try and lead or something within you is wanting to lead at least and this is going to be really good for your confidence and i think this is going to be a good change for you and then you have the five of pentacles so it may be that you have now found sanctuary you've now found um your support in the storm maybe um and again i think maybe you have had this insecurity about what to do for money what to do if everything else changes but the clarity comes through and it tells you do not worry it tells you please leave your issues with us and we'll help you queen of swords again ice clarity ice independence very influential very quick thinker very perceptive the reason comes in very very strong here and um, so it could be that you're very good friends with a libra aquarius or a gemini person and you want to help them because this shows that you're very much up up to helping them you really want to help them you really want to give them what you need i mean you're a bit unsure about the things in general maybe there's a little bit of a shadow of doubt in your mind but i really do think that they would appreciate your help and they will defend you to the death they will defend you to the death, they're really loyal, if they believe you're in the right at least, you know, they are very much social justice warriors, these people, and then you have the five of swords, so two fives, a little bit of adversity here, so the swords for me indicates a little bit of tension and defeat, and I feel like you could be worried that people will take advantage of your generosity, worried that people will abandon you if you give them too much, like they'll take what they need, and then they'll walk away, and it could be that you're afraid because you've opened yourself up to people, you've given them freebies, or you've given them, you know, something that you thought would help in general. And I do think this is now coming forward to being quite, um, it's, it's culminating in this moment, basically. It's giving you this point of contact where you're probably going to feel a little bit disturbed and a little bit worried that things aren't going to go particularly your way however I do feel that this is mostly an issue um only if you are letting that 
anxiety coming. So I think that you're haggling, you're trying to get the setting up, maybe you're worried that if you're too generous, people are going to take advantage of your business or just your time and energy that you wanted to give to people. But I do think that this is a strong month and you're going to get that clarity that you need. But let me know in the comments below as to how things go for you. I really do hope it goes well. Everything that you need to get a reading from me or contact me through social media is on the description box. But I really do appreciate everybody who has subscribed and commented and who watches this and everything like that. Thank you so much for joining me and I really look forward to seeing what April brings for you. But in the meantime, I wish you all the very best and I'll speak to you guys soon.